All right, Buddha, let's do a little shopping and, and uh, learn what to do with our gardens at the same time. <laughs> Hi, V. Uh, we're going to teach you what to do with gardens. You come out here and shop. You see how that works, right? Sure. Right? <laughs> works <laughs> perfect. Boy, boy, right here. Uh, please, again, educate us. What, what, how, how are we going to learn? What, what are we going to learn in this segment from you? Okay, what we're going to talk about now is soil amendments okay. and fertilizers and what they do. So in our soils, the only way to improve a soil is by adding organic material. In a heavy clay soil, we add organic material to lighten it, to allow porosity or air to move and water to move through the soil and the roots be able to grow. And if you happen to live in sandy and you have a sandy soil, you add organic material because it holds on to water and nutrients. These are two good examples. Soil pep uh, is a very fine bark that can be rototilled up into the soil. Oh, yeah. And the other one is Oakdale egg compost. And it's the only true compost done in the Intermountain area. And so it won't ever burn a plant. You can work it in. It has microbes in it that makes the fertilizers more effective and everything. And then once you add organic material, mm -hmm. you always want to add fertilizer. I mean, I know I like to eat. How about you, Big Buddha? Do you like uh, to eat? I'm sure you can tell I like to eat. <laughs> okay. So, so do our plants. And we can okay. make the plants do specific things. This has the middle number fairly high, which is phosphate. Yeah. Phosphate tells the plant, and if you notice here, it shows roots and it shows fruit. Mm -hmm. And phosphate promotes rooting and flowering. Okay. And so what we do is it doesn't move through the soil. It stays where we put it. So we have to put this down when we transplant. And as the roots find it, it tells the plant to grow more roots in the spring. I heard you say that's an aphrodisiac for plants. Is sure. that what I heard you say? That's what that's it is. That's what I heard you say, brother. And no, then no, the flowers come on yeah. later and I get my fruit. But, but here's, here's the problem I have, though, though, and I hope you can help me. I, I try to do all of this, but I don't know if I'm doing it in the right proportion or the right timing. You know, I'm not really taking the time to talk to an expert like yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? What you want to do is have some fun, okay? <laughs> Now, I'm sorry, this is fun for me. Okay. So okay. you have some fun. What you want to do is put a little bit out, try it, experiment. You don't have to keep a diary, uh, you know, of everything. Yeah, Carrie, you don't have to keep a diary on how many tomato plants didn't work out for you. You don't have to do that. Don't do that. Okay. Just right? have some fun, put a little bit Look in. That. Tell them again. Look right at Tell them again. Tell them again, Mara. Tell them. You don't have to have a diary, just <laughs> have some fun and put a little bit of fertilizer out and try it. Yeah. And this is your starting fertilizer. Once the plants are growing, then you want to use a, like a 16, 16, 8 here, which is your nitrogen. That moves through the soil. That gives you your green growth. But if you put this down with your tomatoes and that right away, you get this great, yeah. big, beautiful plant of green foliage and no tomatoes. I'll answer, I'll answer for, for him, Kerry. He's too expensive. You can't hire him out like that. He just can't come to your house and do your, your, your tomatoes he for you. He can't just plant He's my garden expensive. for me. He's busy. All right. You can't just buy your garden. But, but they do the have experts here. Tell them the website where they can go more information. It's, uh, it's the IFA, IFA website. Uh, <laughs> country he stores. knows plants, okay? Give him a break. That's my com. buddy. He knows plants, okay?